This is Sean Collins, an iCar instructor and a consultant for the Better Bumper Company. Sean, what are you going to be showing us today? Today we're going to look at reshaping a plastic bumper cover using controlled heat. And how many bumper covers a month uh, does the Better Bumper Company repair in a month? Uh, in a normal month, we usually recondition between two and three hundred bumper covers. So you do it once in a while? We do it all the time. All right, Sean, now that we have our bumper cover clean with soap and water and the appropriate cleaner, what's our next step? Well, the next step is to use a heat lamp to heat the entire general area of the damage. Now that we have the heat lamp set up, what distance does it need to be away from the bumper cover? Well, that's going to depend on the intensity of the equipment that we're using. Some equipment uh, puts out a lot more heat than others, so the best way to accomplish that is to set up your heat equipment and aim it at as, as a, a direct angle at the damage as possible, covering as large of an area as possible, because the idea here is to relax the plastic in the surrounding area as well, as much of the damage as we can. So we want to aim directly at the bumper cover and continue to monitor the heat to make sure that it's not being overheated. The next very important part of the repair process is to push the initial damage out as far as possible. Now that the plastic has been heated in a wide general area, this is going to allow the sharper uh, damaged areas to relax a little bit. So what I'm going to do is push this out using protective gloves from the backside, and after all the majority of the damage has been pushed out, I'm going to uh, reapply heat and allow it to continue to relax. It's a very important part of the process. So I'm going to push this out from the back side, again using some gloves. You can also use some tools, and as you can see, the majority of the damage has already come out. You can use some, some hand tools, such as a dolly, to push on the back side and try to bring as much of the damage out as possible in this initial step. Now again, we're going to reapply the heat and walk away for a period of time and continue to allow that to relax and more of the damage will even come out. Our bumper cover is looking great. What do we have to do next? Well, it's important that immediately after removing the heat with the heat lamp that we get back on this with heat from a heat gun and address each individual spot to continue to push those out as far as we can and reshape it as close to the original contour as we possibly can in this stage. And why is that so important? Well, it's similar to metal finishing where the better job that you do and the more patience you have uh, getting your contours out, the easier the rest of the repair process is going to be. Now I'm cooling the plastic off to try to freeze the plastic in place as it cools. I'm also putting pressure on that damaged area as I cool it down. That area has come out uh, quite well. I'm going to move on to the next area here and address these spots one at a time. Right, what's our next step going to be? Well, the next step will be, as you see, there are some minor imperfections in here yet. So the next step will be to prepare this for the plastic uh, repair fillers. So we're going to sand this down, and as we do, we'll address some of these very small areas by block sanding some of them away. And uh, when we uh, apply our filler, we'll smooth out some of the very minor imperfections. Sean, why couldn't we just sand off the finish and put filler right over the little dents? Why do we have to block sand? Right, the important thing again to remember is that this plastic does have a memory. So if we were to fill in a small dent without bringing it out, this particular bumper cover, especially being black, would go out and sit in the sun and might get up to 180 plus degrees. And in that process, if we would have filled a low spot, as this bumper gets hot and the plastic comes back to its original shape, now we would have a high spot in that area. 